there has been some confusion regarding how to implement some of these tabletop games into a tournament environment. We're here to show you how to do so by highlighting the strategies and competitive aspects of each game. Nevermore is a card drafting game where each player must create a five card hand that will give them the most advantage among the rest of the players. Through a series of rounds, players are given three chances to build the most powerful hand while sabotaging the adjacent opponent. Whoever reaches the set amount victory points or be the last human standing is the winner. There is no consistent strategy that will guarantee you victory or a lead because each round will always present a different situation. The purpose of drafting in this game is to balance out the luck of the draw. So whether you are dealt a good or a bad starting cards, you have three drafting rounds to reconstruct your hand. Each suit has its own effects. Therefore, there is no best or superior hand, but actually five ideal hands, each best hand pertaining to its own suit. So players must be wary of what they give their opponents because it may empower them rather than hurt them. While collecting and passing cards, you get a glimpse of what is in play during the rounds, where the knowledge can be used to decide what will be best for your hand. Of the five suits, there is one suit that is an interesting tool where if used improperly can be harmful to its wielder, the raven. Despite killing off other cards, if a player collects a raven, the round is declared over and the holder is rewarded with a conspiracy of ravens. Where the player gains points, damages, all enemies, and acquires a shadow magic, which can be ultimately a game changer. Now magic cards are implemented in Nevermore as another utility that can be gained through raven and radiance cards. While light magic earned with radiance may not be as powerful as shadow magic cards, but can be just as useful. These cards offer many backstabbing opportunities where players can swap hands with one another or reverse card effects or even add cards of a specific suit to their hand. An incredibly fun aspect of Nevermore is its player elimination. No one stops playing until the game is over. Once someone's health is depleted to zero, they become a raven, but with a chance to revive themselves through certain conditions. Although a raven is at a slight disadvantage, it does not take away the ability to win. The presence of Raven changes the dynamic of the game dramatically, offering more obstacles for the human players. Now despite the game's simplicity, Nevermore demands an in-depth strategy where everyone looks out for themselves. It's constant mind game to outwit the other players by keeping cards you need and disposing cards that you might believe will be detrimental to your opponent. You may not have any control over the cards that are dealt, but it's up to you as a player to manipulate the fate of your enemies with the tools that you possess. So we look forward to see Nevermore take flight into the competitive scene for this year's tournament series. So thank you again for being part of the Unrivaled community.